it's time to make a summary of what has been achieved. The European Union is a project, first of all, for peace, for cooperation between the nations, for mutual benefits, living all together and making each country stronger for a common union. L'appuntamento dei 60 anni dei Trattati di Roma è una straordinaria occasione di rilancio. È un'occasione per rivendicare i risultati che in questi 60 anni l'Unione Europea ha raggiunto. Pace, libertà, coesione sociale, grande successo del mercato unico e contemporaneamente deve essere un'occasione per indicare le prospettive dei prossimi dieci anni. Bom, espero que os líderes europeus de hoje estejam à altura dos 60 anos que a União Europeia tem oferecido de paz e prosperidade. Somos um exemplo que não, pode, que não podemos deixar morrer. Pelo contrário, temos que lhe dar nova força, nova vida e para isso é preciso responder aos anseios concretos dos cidadãos. Em matéria de emprego, em matéria de perspectivas económicas, da defesa do nosso modelo social, da nossa segurança coletiva, da nossa, de fazer frente à ameaça terrorista, Estes são os anseios das pessoas e esses anseios nós temos que responder. We need to renew our social commitments and it's important to extend the European agenda by a social pillar. For us, the social democratic parties and politicians, it's of utmost importance to continue our fight for a prosperous, democratic, fair and social Europe. We need to look at the social dimension, showing people, yes, this is not only a market for companies and goods and services, this is actually a cooperation that benefits everybody. I think it is a great opportunity in Rome, for the 60th anniversary and the celebrations, to strengthen the social pillar and the social element in European policies. For the social democrats, being pro-European, uh, being for a, a, a more protective Europe, for a more uh, social Europe and for a stronger economic Europe uh, is at the heart of our convictions. And I cannot imagine that we are not the leaders, that we are not at the forefront of this fight for a, a stronger and better Europe. I think historically part of the success of social democrats across the world has been to make um, their issues mainstream issues. And I think right now we are on the verge of making once again social Europe and the social pillar a mainstream issue. We need a rebalance between the market, the interests of the uh, companies and the interests of the people, which is showing to the citizens of EU that Europe cares about their life about their jobs, about their salaries, about their social security.